Okay, so the next part we're going to talk about is our body paragraphs. So in your body paragraph, you're going to follow this very specific pattern. And the reason we're starting with this pattern is just to make it easier for us um, as we are you know, dipping our toes into writing argument writing. Um, so we're going to provide you with more structure now. And then as we get more confident and more um, able to, to create good argument writing, um, we'll, we'll loosen up the reins a little bit. So for your first sentence, we're going to be looking for a transition followed by your thesis and your first reason. So a lot of the things that you've already written in your thesis statement, we're going to keep using over and over again. So a lot of it you've already written. So for example, I have to begin with, and that's my transition. Here is my thesis. Schools should not require students to wear uniforms. And then here's my reason again, because they restrict student individuality. So this is pretty similar to what I wrote in my thesis statement already. The second sentence, you should have a sentence starter. We have a bunch of these on the board as well as um, in some of your Google Docs, according to the article. That's what I chose to use. And then I have, this is the name of the article, four reasons public schools should think twice before instituting school uniform policies. Then. Here's my evidence, okay? This is the author, Lee Rowland states, students have a First Amendment right to express themselves so long as that expression is not disruptive during the school day. There's my evidence. So sentence starter, which actually starts here and ends here, and then here is my quote. Now, here is my last sentence. Now, it could, be, it could possibly be two to three sentences, but we're asking that you at least have one. So here's my sentence starter, which is this proves that, or this is important because, and then explanation. Here you're going to tell us why this information, this evidence is important to our argument. So we can do this by using this proves that. This proves that by making all students dress the same way, schools are denying them the right of self-expression while also limiting them to sameness. So right here is I'm explaining why this evidence is significant or why it's important and how it supports my argument. Notice that I did not use any pronouns like you, me, my, we. 